Hello, everyone, we continue our journey with the world of metal casting. As you know, the automotive industry relies heavily on castings for engine blocks, cylinder heads, and transmission cases. To satisfy its high-volume production, die casting is used. There are different techniques in the die casting process. Low-pressure die casting, hot chamber high-pressure die casting, and cold chamber high-pressure die casting. This video shows how these three techniques work. In the low-pressure die-casting process, molten metal is transported against gravity, from bottom to top, into the mold. At the beginning of the process, the open low-pressure mold is cleaned and, if necessary, reconditioned. Filters are placed into the gating openings in the base plate to remove impurities from the molten metal, ensuring a cleaner and higher quality final casting. This mold is coreless. So, once it is closed and locked, the molten metal can be injected. A hyperutectic aluminum silicon alloy at 750 degrees Celsius is injected into the mold cavity at a casting pressure ranging from 0.2 to 0.5 bar. The alloy solidifies into the final casting at 300 degrees Celsius. The mold opens automatically. When the side sections are retracted, Ejectors push the casting onto the extraction device. The circulating material required for this process is approximately 5%. The foundry worker places the casting on the inspection station and roughly removes excess material so that further handling can proceed automatically. This low pressure casting station is used to manufacture a V10 cylinder block from hyperutectic aluminum alloy. The foundry worker cleans and prepares the mold and inserts the filters into the gating system. After positioning the first sand core, the mold is blown out once more, and the frontal slide gates are closed. Subsequently, the two water jacket cores and the fourth required sand core are placed. A final blowout of the mold prevents residual sand from contaminating the casting. Once the mold is closed and locked, the casting process is initiated. The entire low-pressure casting station can be visualized on the display of the control cabinet, where the casting curve illustrates the filling process. When the mold filling and solidification are complete, the applied casting pressure of 0.3 bar is reduced. The mold then opens automatically, and the cylinder block is removed by the side sliders. After the retraction of the side sliders, the casting is ejected. Before the casting is transported for further processing, the foundry worker removes any external sand core markings and inspects the casting quality. The hot chamber high pressure die casting process sequence is illustrated by this animation. A pressing unit, located in the holding furnace, injects the molten metal at a high specific pressure into the die casting mold, where it solidifies into the casting. Excess molten metal flows back into the furnace, and the machine then opens the mold. Ejectors push the entire casting out of the cavity. Before each casting cycle, the mold must be recoated with a release agent. Hot chamber high-pressure die casting machines are slightly tilted to allow excess molten metal to flow back into the holding furnace. These machines are used for casting magnesium and zinc alloys. Behind the safety door, the die casting mold, set up for sampling, is coated with a release agent. Residual moisture is removed by air blowing, and then the mold is closed. The injection plunger forces the molten metal into the mold cavity in a rapid shot. After solidification, the machine opens the die casting mold, and the foundry worker can remove the casting, inspect its quality, and transfer it to the measurement room. The clamping force of the demonstrated hot chamber high pressure die casting machine is 1.6 mega newtons. This cold chamber high pressure die casting machine clamps the die at 40 mega newtons using a hydraulically operated toggle system. It is primarily used for serial production of structural automotive components, such as strut mounts. 
After cleaning and spraying the mold surface with a water-soluble release agent, the mold is blown out and closed. Unlike the hot chamber die casting process, in this method, the 700 degrees Celsius hypoeutectic aluminium melt is ladled into the injection system from an external furnace. After that it is injected into the mold under high pressure. After solidification, the machine opens the mold, and a robot removes the casting, which is ejected by the ejector system, and transports it for identification marking. After scanning the engraved part data, the casting is placed for optical inspection. Conclusion The presented serial casting methods for lightweight construction represent only the most commonly used techniques for producing cast components. Numerous other casting methods have been derived from these processes. They all demonstrate the immense variety of possibilities that innovative foundry specialists continue to develop and apply in the present and future. Keep on learning, keep on exploring. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe for more awesome content. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.